I'm checking for scene safety. I can see there are no slips or false hazards. I'm happy to proceed. I'll make sure that the curtains are drawn and the door is closed to provide privacy and dignity to my patient. Good morning, Nicole. My name is Coco. I will be your nurse for today. I'm here to do an A to E nursing assessment. Is that all right with you? That's all right, nurse. Before I proceed, can you please tell me your full name and date of birth, please? My name is Nicole Park and my date of birth is 10th of the 4th, 1941. Can I just double check that with your ID band? Nicole Park, date of birth 10th of the 4th, 1941, NHS number 123-456-789. That matches our record. I can see that you have an allergy bracelet. Are you allergic to any food, drug, or latex? Yes, I'm allergic to peanut and plaster. What reaction do you get from that? Yes, I get anaphylaxis. I can see it's in our document and we'll take note of that. Thank you, nurse. I can see you have a pair of eyeglasses here. Is this yours? And will you need it during the assessment? Uh, yes. That's mine, but I don't need it now. I just need it for reading. Okay, I'll place it here so it's within your reach when you need it. Oh, thank you. Are you still happy for me to proceed? 4 Airway, I can see that Nicole can speak in full sentences and no visual obstructions. Are you able to take a deep breath for me, please? Are you able to cough? <coughs> I confirm that the patient's airway is clear. For breathing, there are no audible respiratory noises such as stridor, wheeze, rattle, coughing. There are no visual signs of respiratory distress such as use of accessory muscle, sweating, cyanosis, seesaw breathing. Nicole, I'll just place both of my hands on your chest just to assess for equal air entry. Okay, Nicole, breathe in for me, please. And out. Breathe in. And out. Thank you, Nicole. Well done. I will now check your oxygen saturation. Can I use this hand, Nicole? I can see that the finger is clean. There are no artificial nails, no nail varnish, no signs of infection. I'm happy to proceed. Your oxygen saturation is 100% and that's perfect. I will now proceed with circulation. Nicole, I will now check your radial pulse. I will need you to relax and keep quiet for two minutes. My time starts now. Okay, I'm finished taking your pulse for one full minute and the rate is 78. 
and also I took note of the strength and rhythm which are both normal. I also took a respiratory rate for one full minute which is 19, noting the depth and quality which are normal. I will now check your blood pressure. Have you had any surgeries in this arm or fistula? No. You can also see there's no swelling, no signs of infection, no cannula in this arm. Your blood pressure is 107 over 73, which is a bit on the low side. Uh, is this normal for you, Nicole? Yes. All right, I'll take note of that. I'll now check for your capillary ratio. I'll now raise your hand to the level of your heart and press on your finger for two to five seconds. One, two, three, four. I can see that the color came back within two seconds. Just place my hands over your limbs to check for perfusion. The perfusion on your upper and lower limbs are normal. They're warm to touch and no signs of pallor. As for disability, my patient's consciousness level is alert and orientated. Are you in pain at the moment? Yes. Can you tell me where the pain is? I have this chest tightness, nurse. Could you please rate your pain from zero with no pain and 10 being the highest? Oh, it's around five, nurse. Can you please give me some painkillers? I'm so sorry to hear that. I'll check your drug chart if I could give you anything as soon as possible after the assessment. But for now, you can do some deep breathing exercises. And also, I could reposition you. Are you currently comfortable? Oh, I'm fine at the moment. I'm comfortable. Thank you. How's your bowels and urine? Do you have any problem with that? Oh, no, I don't have any problems with my bowels. I open my bowels regularly every day. However, I pass urine frequently. I think it's because of my water tablet. Your water tablet is your diuretic, which helps remove the water out of your body. Uh, may I know, do you remember how many meals was your last week? Oh, um, I'm so sorry. I don't know at all. We have to measure your urine output from now on to accurately monitor your fluid balance. Do you have any problems going to the loo? Yes, um, I do have problems walking to the loo. I think it's because of my legs. It's uh, swollen. I see. I also noted that your legs are swollen and that's what the diuretics are for. But if you do need help with mobilizing, just press the call bell. Let us know if you need anything. I saw on your chart that you are diabetic. Do you know your last blood sugar level? Uh, yes, the last nurse said it was 10.9. Okay, I'll double check that in our system and we'll continue to monitor your blood sugar while you're in the hospital. I will now assess for exposure. I will now take your tympanic temperature. You can see there are no hearing aids, there are no signs of infection, no discharges. I'm happy to use this ear. Your temperature is fine, it's 37.0.
Do you have rashes, bruises, or injuries in any part of your body? No, I don't. You can see in your past medical history that you had heart attack 10 years ago, angina, congestive cardiac failure, type 2 diabetes, and rheumatoid arthritis. Is there any other condition that we should take note of? That's all, nurse. Thank you for your time, Nicole. I'm now finished with my assessment and now I will document. You have the call bell, just let us know if you need anything. Hello Nicole, I'm back. So I've calculated your news, which is the National Early Warning Score. This is a tool for us to monitor for signs of deterioration and on what to do next. Your news is one and I'll be monitoring you every four hours and I'll escalate you to the doctors if there are any other clinical changes. And also I'll come back later for your painkillers. Do you have any questions or concerns before I go? Oh no, I don't have any. Thank you nurse. Okay, so here's your call bell. Let me know if you need anything.